Hi, um, my name is Graham Scott. I'm a Flying Logic uh, user from down in New Zealand. I decided uh, late, late in my career that I'd better have a go and do some more study and do a master's degree. So did a lot of study, a whole lot of research, put together my first draft of the thesis and I thought I'd done a reasonably good job and the feedback I got from my supervisors was, yeah, this is a pretty good first draft and here's four pages of stuff you need to fix. We then had a two hour Zoom call and I came up with another couple of pages of stuff that I needed to fix. So what I did is I made a list of all the, uh, all the bits and pieces that needed to be done. I used a PRT type format, so a prerequisite tree format. Went through and I looked on every one of these things as an obstacle that needed to be overcome. I put them all onto Flying Logic and then arranged them in some sort of order. Right at the top here, the outcome I wanted was that draft two of my thesis was complete. Now, one of the criticisms I had was that some of my references were a little bit old and they wanted me to see whether I could find some more modern ones. So one of the suggested steps was to do a check to see who'd cited the old references that I'd used to see if they appeared in any more modern papers. I also needed to have a check through and make sure there were some more specific ones for New Zealand. And I needed to update the current reality tree that I'd done so that I could put the new references in there. So for me, the I was able to use flying logic to put everything in a logical sort of an order so I could just start and pick these bits off one at a time. And I knew that if I went through this analysis, one, uh, all these entities one at a time, I would eventually reach my goal at the top here. I think of it as uh, the old saying is, how do you eat an elephant? And it's one bite at a time. This tool enables you to uh, figure out which, well, break the elephant down into bites and then figure out which end of it to start eating. Now at this stage, I was working full time. I didn't have lots of you know, big patches of time that I could put towards this and the job just looked overwhelming. So if you've got a really big project, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, not sure where to start, then this is a great tool to do it.